The world's largest battery manufacturer, CATL. They they have a, a monopoly on the battery market. They make some incredibly good batteries, some of the best in the world. Tesla use them. Many car manufacturers use them. What this means is within the next 12 months, these batteries could be in your electric car. And you would want them to be because... Cadle's battery breakthrough has doubled lithium metal battery lifespan. Now, these are incredibly high energy density batteries with an energy density of more than 500 watts per kilogram. That is crazy. I mean, put it this way, right? If you took your, let's say, a Tesla Model 3 or a BYD Seal, you put these batteries in, let's say you put a 70 kilowatt hour battery in a Model 3 or a BOD seal, not very big, smaller than what the battery you can, existing batteries in the BOD seal, you'd be looking at an easy 1,000 kilometers or 600 miles of range. No question, you'd be looking at that kind of range. This is the next big deal from CATL. And this is really serious news. This is not, not one of my videos where I'm talking about something that could happen in the future. This is something that actually will happen. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. If you want to see my full video with Sandy Munro, where he talks about some, I think, some really cool stuff. I believe he's the most influential engineer on the entire global automotive industry over the past decade. And I actually, I reveal why I think that's the case in that video. Then just click on the link in the description below and become a YouTube member. And it'll help me support the channel. Hey guys, I've got uh, a, an EcoFlow Delta II right here and the Delta Pro, which is about four times bigger than this. I've used them over the past two months many times. I didn't think I would, but I've needed them. There's been electrical problems in the house. There's been uh, massive storms here in Australia. They've been absolutely, for me, game-changing, life-saving, up to 45% off sale. I'll put a link in the description and I think that's on for the next three weeks. So click on that link. You can take advantage and get one of these batteries for a really good price. Chinese battery giant CATL says that they've made a breakthrough in lithium metal batteries through quantitative mapping. The company said this takes them into previously uncharted territory in terms of electrolyte strategy, and the research will pay massive dividends to the entire global automotive industry. CATL said the breakthrough will enable lithium metal batteries to have both a high energy density and a long cycle life. How long is the cycle life? Well, the prototype lasted 483 cycles and could be incorporated into state-of-the-art designs to achieve an energy density of over 500 watts per kilogram. This is just a prototype. To put that number into perspective, solid-state batteries from Stellantis and Factorial have an energy density of 375 watt hours per kilogram, about double the some you know about double the lithium ion phosphate batteries that we're seeing the new BYD Blade battery, the new version, uh, Geely's Golden Brick battery, uh, Cadles their their best lithium ion phosphate batteries. It has about those those solid state batteries are about double the energy density, but Cadles new lithium metal battery lithium metal battery has triple the energy density. So that's staggering. It means this lithium metal battery will have 33% higher energy density than solid state batteries from two of the biggest solid state battery companies in the world. Cato says lithium metal batteries are widely regarded as the next generation battery system thanks to their intrinsically high energy density, especially for very high end power applications such as long range electric cars, potentially supercars, race cars, potentially, and more importantly, in my opinion, electric aviation, making flying airplanes. This makes it very, very real. The company said though that the trade-off is a short battery life cycle and they're not yet commercially viable. But it's, it's CATL. These guys don't mess around. They make basically everything they've done has worked. To help solve the problem, CATL have developed and refined a suite of analytical techniques to track the evolution of active lithium and each electrolyte component throughout the battery's life cycle. This approach transforms a black box into a white box, unveiling the critical depletion pathways during cell failure. 
Basically, they're figuring out why cells fail. Previous assumptions pointed the finger at solvent breakdown, dead lithium accumulation, or solvation environment disruption. The dominant cause of cell failure is actually the continuous consumption of the electrolyte salt L uh, Lee FSI. 71% is consumed by the time the battery dies, and the firm says this shows there needs to be a focus on electrolyte durability as a critical factor for sustained performance. But basically, CHL am saying they've discovered the solution. And as you can imagine, they'll simply run, run this through artificial intelligence, and it will come up with the algorithm needed to change the electrolyte. CHL used the findings to create an optimized electrolyte formulation with a lower molecular weight dilute with a low molecular weight. The company says this increased the salt's mass fraction, improved ionic conductivity, and reduced vis viscovis and reduced viscosity, all without increasing the total mass of electrolyte used. So, yeah, what does this mean? Well, it means that CHL have doubled the prototype's life cycle. Doubled it. That's a huge leap forward. If they can double it again, possibly once or twice, that's it. The battery could then be commercialized. And CHL are not actually work on these batteries because it's a theory. These guys work on batteries that they really put into production. Here's what they said. It's a paradigm shift for developing batteries that are both energy dense and built to last. Now, there is still a long research and development cycle ahead for lithium metal batteries, but it appears as though CHL are getting much closer to actually making these batteries real. Now, mind my hype, yes, they're not going to be in cars in a year from now, but they most certainly will be within five to 10 years. And think about it this way, right? How long are we looking at? 10 years, 2035? What happens in 2035? 2035 is when bans on internal combustion come into place in Europe and in 15 states in America, plus Canada, plus the UK, plus China is going to be rid of internal combustion by then easily. By 2035, it'll be long gone from China. And then we're, look, we're looking at batteries like this in cars. We've already got 1,000 kilowatt fast charging. In fact, we've got more than that now. We've got 1,300 kilowatt fast charging coming out of China. So it's going to be commonplace extremely commonplace to see electric cars. Most of them will have a minimum of 500 kilowatt fast charging by 2035. Then they're going to have batteries with an energy density of at least 300 kilowatt, at least 300 watt hours per kilogram, meaning range of EVs will double on average. As long as we keep batteries at a similar size, range from an EVs will double. Then EVs using, say, lithium metal batteries will have a range that could be even triple what we're seeing today. If anyone really thinks that Internal combustion won't be dead by 2035. Well, yeah, I think they just don't have any full understanding of what's about to happen. Thanks for watching.